The Ellison S. Onizuko Memorial Award is presented to a nominee whose activities in Asian and Pacific Islander affairs significantly impact education and the achievement of equal opportunity for Asian and Pacific Islanders. This year's recipient is from the state of Hawaii. Aloha. I'm Corey Rosen Lee. One of Hawaii's great cultural leaders is Kumahina. She is a teacher, a spiritual guide, and a protector of Hawaiian traditions and culture. She is our Hinalei Moana Wangkalu. For as long as you stay a young person, you just roll with it. You know, when you get to be my age, you're not gonna have to move for anybody else. Okay? Seeing a child suffer proves to be too much for Hinalei Moana Wong Kalu. Oh, The Hawaiian kumu, or teacher, is strong, a respected cultural leader and role model to many. But people shouldn't be pressured into being someone they're not. It's not aloha, not in keeping with the generous, inclusive Hawaiian spirit. Keeping the Hawaiian spirit strong and teaching the cultural practices of her people has been a lifelong mission for Hina, and in many ways, a lifelong journey. That journey has been recreated in the award-winning documentary that is screening tonight at the Kamehameha Schools in Honolulu. The original documentary, called Kumu Hina, was produced by two local Emmy Award-winning filmmakers, Dean Hammer and Joe Wilson. The film explains the Hawaiian concept of mahu, those who embody both the male and female spirit, someone in the middle. Mahu are valued and respected in traditional Hawaiian culture. The movie tells the true story of Hina's transition from a timid high school boy to a cultural leader and respected kumu. The documentary was so well received, a shorter version was created called A Place in the Middle. It was edited for a younger audience to teach acceptance, love, and anti-bullying. Hina serves as its educational campaign and outreach director. Its screening tonight has brought in people from as far away as New Zealand to share with Kumuhina what her teaching has meant to them. Hina educates wherever she goes. As a gifted Kumu, her love for Hawaiian traditions and culture informs her work, wherever that may be. Kumuhina is currently working with prisoners at two correctional facilities on Oahu. The men learn how the traditional values of their native culture can be a road map, or a touchstone, or a lifeline. And through everything Hina does, runs her music, her meles. She's a gifted songwriter and her inspirational words in the traditional chant form have united the Hawaiian people in their fight to preserve their culture, their land, and their way of life. Aloha and greetings to all of you here. I say to you, all of you, mahalo. In my language, mahalo means thank you. And I am indeed 
so very humbled to receive this honor. Mahalo to Jody Kunimitsu of Maui Island for believing that I was not only worthy of nomination for this award, but also of the time necessary for her to organize for it. I am thankful and to my ancestors, as well as my family, my former teachers, mentors, and so many others for their impact on my life. Please allow me to accept this honor on their behalf for everything that I do and aspire to in this lifetime of mine is a reflection of their investment in me. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between. You and I possess the capacity for greatness. So thank you for enabling me to stand in the light today. Now, let us, each and every one of us, empower someone else in the next generation to shine their light and realize their capacity for greatness. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo nui. Aloha.